Hi guys, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In my previous videos, you watch how we constructed the walls, base, and the decking of our double cell box cover. In this video, you are going to watch how we are going to construct the head wall, wing walls, and the retaining wall of our culvert. So, guys. Here you can see the iron benders are placing the irons for the base of our this retaining wall. You can see that we did casting of the concrete in the base. This is the concrete vibrator which we use for mixing the concrete. For this retaining wall, we used Y10 and Y12 mm bars. For the iron bars, we kept the spacing of 200 mm from center to center. Then for the retaining wall, we kept the length of 6 meters. The height of our wing wall started at approximately 1.02 meters and then it stopped at a height of 600 mm or 0.6 meters while on the other side we had some difference in the level on the other side the place was a bit down so we had to go down like 50 centimeter or 0 0.5 meters so this is the reason why the retaining wall height had to be increased on the other side For the wing wall also we use the same Y10 and Y12 mm bars. So guys you can see that the foam work or the shuttering was placed for the head wall, wing wall and the retaining wall. Similar to the walls of our culvert we use acro jacks or building jacks for their support. So guys you can see that we did casting of concrete for the head wall, wing wall and our retaining wall. The thickness of our retaining wall was kept at 0 0.23 meters or 9 inches, approximately 9 inches. You can see that we are doing a small patching of filling of the concrete. The reason why we have to do this patching is because when we are removing the foam work or the shuttering some places have to be dressed up. This is the reason why we had to use a small motor on such places. So guys here you can see that the concrete was also poured after the apron after the apron, we had to pour concrete and do the dressing of the concrete so that the water can pass or flow through the apron easily. So guys, you can see that our construction of the box culvert is done properly. The wing wall, head wall and the retaining wall, they were also constructed. Here you can see that there were some places where we had to use the tie rod for the shuttering or the foam work. And this is the reason why the mason had to fill those holes. So guys our culvert is ready and very soon we are going to put the laterite on top of the surface or on top of the decking so that it would be open for the vehicles to pass through. You can see that the small places had been filled up with mortar. Our box culvert is ready. The debris which you can see here will also be removed. And then later on as the work progresses, laterite shall also be brought from the 
pit or you can say burrow pit and then it shall be placed all around the surface our double cell box culvert is ready in the next video i shall show you how we are going to construct the ring culvert and the single cell culvert guys i hope you enjoyed this video and the previous videos and i hope that your concept of construction of box culvert would be cleared in case of any questions you may please write in the comment box thank you so much for watching my videos and sharing it with your friends thank you so much once again stay blessed take care bye bye